What is going on everyone? Badger here. Be sure to like and sub and let's get into this. Uh, this is one of those videos that I wanted to do the other day when we first heard about this, but unfortunately just so much has been going on. Thankfully now I can cover it. Uh, <laughs> it's not going away anytime soon, I don't think. But uh, if you're not familiar with Dead by Daylight, it is a scary movie survival horror game, basically, where you get to play as either one of the killers or you have to play as one of the victims trying to escape. And they have a bunch of different killers, uh, including some mainstream movie ones like Freddy Krueger and the Alien. Uh, what they also have is a new one coming out in their DLC called The Unknown. And the voice actress, actor, the voice uh, person for it, they have a bit of a problem with how the killer ended up looking and some of the jokes now being made. And they're uh, crying that it was intentional. But here we have Behavior Games, Dead by Daylights, All Things Wicked Update Sparks, Woke Crying Transphobia over New Killer. And uh, <laughs> Behavior Games' massively popular asymmetrical horror game, Dead by Daylight recently released its highly anticipated all things wicked update but the new killer character has proven quite controversial within the transgender community which isn't hard to do uh the all things wicked update went live on march 12th introducing a terrifying new killer known as the unknown the genderless shape-shifting entity uh, the, the also unknown is when you ask one of them what is a woman and they go i I don't know. The unknown. If you say you are, you are. That's it's unknown. Uh, but here for this killer, the genderless shape shifting entity can adapt its appearance at will using both. Well, isn't that convenience? Uh, using both masculine and feminine voice lines performed by transgender voice actor, well, actress, you bigot, Zoe Alexandria. One of the unknown's cosmetic outfits is a cheerleader uniform. Well, that's kinky. I'm glad we get to choose. Uh, while representation through a transgender voice actor would normally be clout clapped by social media drones, many felt the unknown's design promoted harmful trans stereotypes, didn't appreciate the character being a crazed killer. Of course not, because you can also never depict any of these underrepresented groups as anything negative, as a, a killer. Um, many of the unknowns design, blah, 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 trans stereotypes of being killers. Well, if we count these statistics for the last couple of mass shootings, maybe uh, on the dead by daylight forms, players criticize the character's masculine body paired with feminine clothing, like the cheerleader outfit, arguing it depicted trans women as dangerous and grotesque. Well, only a large portion of them. Some of them pass. And to those we say, good for you. A uh, new Dead by Daylight killer is a deformed freak in a skirt voiced by a trans voice actress. What is the ever-loving heck did the devs mean by this? Yeah, okay, so that's... Doesn't look great, I'll tell you that. Doesn't look great, but um, again, if the whole point of this killer is to pull people in and then it can change how it pulls people, their gender, you know, to pull in either men and women because there's only those two options. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, the controversy quickly spread across social media on X. And after that was shared that we just, after this post was shared, there's 15,000 likes in under 24 hours. That's obviously many, many more by now. Voice actor Zoe Alexandria then weighed in claiming he had no idea what the unknown's final design would look like while recording the voice line. In a lengthy X post, Zoe Alexandria uh, alleged that Behavior Games intentionally created a stereotypical man in a dress killer voiced by a transgender actor as a marketing ploy to bring lots of money and people back into the game. Well, if they did that, it certainly worked, didn't it? It certainly worked. So here, here's what they say. Oh, strap in or strap on. No, no, no. Strap in. That was right. I had to write the first time. Uh, and creating, <laughs> regarding my recent viral witch hanging. I voiced the character The Unknown in Dead by Daylight. At the time of voicing, it was a great experience. I was told at the time I was voicing the character that there was no model and that the character was supposed to be amorphous. They had no model design before I recorded my lines, so it's my assumption that uh, the design team took my medical history and my ability to use multiple voices as an opportunity to create character models that encapsulate my medical history as trans and capitalize on catering to the transphobic community. I was tricked into voicing a stereotype. Since yesterday, I have been virally harassed for being trans by thousands of people since yesterday. People were memeing and making jokes. 
uh, many f- and of course, if you're already predisposed to being a victim because that's actually you know victim culture, they love it and it's a strength to them. Of course, if you're a hammer, everything is a nail. So many folks in the trans community are up in arms over this, and rightfully so. I feel that reparations from the t- Jesus reparations, reparations from the team that deliberately tricked me is the only logical next choice of it. Yeah, that's the logic. I am so upset, so infuriated that people are comparing trans people to these clearly transphobic character skins. If I had any idea of the fallout that would happen after simply voicing a character, I never would have in the first place. Honey, no one would have known your name had you not done the character. If you were do- instead of playing a victim still, you could bankroll this into more roles. Uh, let me personally apologize to anybody who has been a victim of transphobia due to this release. Hop on the cross. Uh, this will help. Uh, please know you are loved. Uh, know that you are valid. What if they're not loved? What if they don't have any friends or family? So who, how? Come on. Unless they mean Jesus, in which case, okay. Uh, as for me, I am not okay. This has ruined my reputation. Has put me physically at risk for being attacked in public. If anybody recognizes my face or voice, everyone is at risk. Of being attacked in public. Uh, There were no diversity consultants on this project. Good for them. Uh, The company knew that making a stereotypical man in a dress as a character and having a trans voice actress voice it would bring lots of money and people back into the game. I'm not dumb. I know how marketing works. This seems to be a huge that You would think to know better than to do this because you would know this would also be used for marketing even if it was, you know, by accident. Sure, an accident. It seems to be a huge ploy in the trans community along with myself with the victims. Once again, hammer, nails. Of course you think you're the victim. Uh, The voice actor walked back some of these accusations in a follow-up post clarifying that their issue was more with the lack of transparency from behavior during production rather than the skins themselves. Well, once you've done your role, they don't owe you anything. Move on to the next job. They are not transphobic. He, I mean, I, I will say right now, Fandom Pulse is being, being very bigoted and reality-based uh, by continuing to refer to Zoe as a he. I will, I will at least say they. I will at least say they. Oh, I, I am just so offended by this. I'm a victim now. I I need reparations for for this. Oh, so sad. Uh, They are not transphobic. (laughs) They affirmed. Uh, There has been a recent misunderstanding. Anybody that thinks the skins are going away is not in the loop. Behavior is allegedly aware of the mass transphobic remarks and memes being made. And the gaming community is not a reflection of the game developers. Uh, I wasn't kept in the loop was what the character's final look would be, nor were they required to, I would add. Uh, I was given an ambiguous description for the part, and even though I tried my best to find out more, continuously asking for more info, that was probably annoying, that wasn't possible. This is why I was upset. The skins themselves were never the issue. Lack of communication was, please stop boycotting behavior. I want to be hired again. Uh... They are, they are not transphobic. It's wrong to take bits of info and jump to your own conclusions, which is what you did to begin with. <laughs> Behavior is a good company and has been nothing but kind and supporting through this process, this tough process of receiving mass harassment, which you yourself started for my involvement in the character. Leave it a loan, Zoe Alexandra. Well, you started a mob, so that's not going to happen. And uh, here's, of course, Melanie Mack, the king of all bundled sticks or uh, British slang for uh, cigarettes. Oh, look, Dead by Daylight released an accurate trans character and Troons are mad. Uh, Dead by Daylight killer, deformed freak in a skirt, deformed neck, evidence of a certain meme statistic, oh, over 40%, unfortunately. Voiced by a trans voice actor, said voice actor did not know what the killer would look like, is now demanding reparations, apologies. Yeah, well, and again, what the killer would look like. Killer go like a guy is you just don't put it in this costume and the whole point of the character is that it can switch up so it can uh lure in for murder fun times uh men and women of which the only two choices would be uh from from a behavior games perspective having transgender voice actor portraying a genderless shape-shifting killer who adopts different identities was ironically likely meant as an as an inclusive creative decision you want inclusion well, here you go, trans community. You can be part of the... Oh, you didn't want to be... Because if you had been a victim, you would have still called transphobia, right? Because you would have said, they put us in just so the killers can kill us. So then they make you one of the killers, and now we're saying... They're saying, oh, look, they're trying to make it seem like we're all killers. Which, again, uh, look up the statistics of the last couple of bang bangs uh, of the mass type, and it wasn't straight white males, I'll tell you that much. Uh, 
not funny, but the, the cover-ups and the lack of talking about it, it has to be. Otherwise, you're crying if you're not laughing. However, Alexandria's shifting statements and the outcry over the unknown's specific designs have combined to create a heated controversy among the Wizoak. Uh, Dead by Daylight's developers potentially reconsider as Dead by Daylight developers potentially reconsider the unknown's aesthetics, and despite Alexandria's attempt to defuse the situation, the trans community, or controversy rather, surrounding the Dead by Daylight's All Things Wicked update shows no signs of slowing down, especially not with late ones like me covering it still. Will you support behavior games? Have you played Dead by Daylight? Give your thoughts and comments below, but not over there. Do it right here in my comment section. And yeah, I have played Dead by Daylight. It's fun. It's just I'd rather be playing Helldivers, or you know anything else yeah i personally think this sounds like she put the stick in her own bike spoke and is now ah ah, ah but you caused yourself to do this uh you before again like you said in a bad relationship you were just mad about the lack of communication had you just waited for them to respond uh, you would have seen, they would have explained it. Would people have made the jokes and the connections on their own? Probably because gamers, in a, in a, yes, we're vicious. We're also quite smart and the memeing is hardcore. So this would have happened no matter what. The fact that you called it out and got your fifis all upset, which you're, you're liking to do and you're in your whole community and I can't wait to see you in my chat. Dig it. Uh, hi, hi, Twitter. Yeah, go ahead. This is all ripe for memes and jokes and uh, don't stop till you get nuts. Make sure to like, share, and sub, please, if you have, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. Join the Badger Legion, the growing Badger Legion, and, uh, what? Well, bye.